Through a set of assumptions, we have reduced the problem to determining the deformed state of the midline or the neutral axis. How do we determine this deformed state then? It turns out you find the deformed state such that deformed state of the, the neutral axis such that the total potential energy of the beam is minimized. Let's talk about potential energy. So, he, you know, I've as before, I've shown schematically that deformed um, state for the neutral axis and that's that curve. And once I know what the, the, the midline or the neutral axis is doing, we saw that we can determine the displacement at any point in the beam. So if you go to any point in the beam, we can determine how much it's going to move in the x direction and how much it's going to move in the y direction. And uh, we don't have strains or stresses in the um, uh, we don't have stresses in the z direction, so we'll ignore that. So we, you know, we can ignore any variations in in z. And we saw that from that we can determine the strains, and there's only one non-zero component of the strain here. And similarly, we can we can determine the stresses, and there's only one non-zero component of the of the stress. And once we know the stress and the strain, it turns out we can determine what the total potential energy of the beam is. And so that's usually denoted uh, with capital Pi. Which, so to find this, um, this state such that this is minimized, so let me write that. I want to minimize this. Um, I have to express this in terms of that. And once I find that solution, let's say I have, you know, I perturb that. And the perturbed shape looks something like that. Now, if my original potential energy was some value, let's say pi 1, on perturbing that solution, that minimal solution, its potential energy has to increase. Okay, and it's some um, delta pi 1, and that, this is going to be positive. Similarly, if I perturb it in the other direction, okay, this is just one candidate. Um, let's say this is pi 1 plus delta pi 2, some, some value um, over here. So, you know, whichever way, I, once I have the correct solution, whichever way I put up the neutral axis, the, the corresponding energy is going to be higher. That's how I know I'm at the right, I have the right solution. And, and so the next step is to express the potential energy in terms of the, the deformed shape of the neutral axis. Let's take a look at that.